finishing position at WesterCon 68. Uh, we will be taking questions first for WesterCon 69 in Portland next year uh, for about the next uh, 10 minutes. After that, we will have uh, 10 to 15 minutes of question time for you know, total for the bidders for WesterCon 70 in 2017 and WesterCon 71 in 2018. And if there are any bidders beyond 2018, they better let me know before the panel's up. Okay, so first, uh, Leah. John Hi, my name is Leah Rush, and I am the chair of WesterCon 69, our current CTIS WesterCon. It will be in Portland, Oregon next year. Uh, we're pretty tickled with our location. We're at the Doubletree Hilton by in Portland, whatever the official name is. It's right on public transit and light rail, so not only do you get to enjoy Western Town 69, but you also have public transit access and very good access to all of the really fun things that Portland offers. And primary among them, of course, is Owl City of Books. <laughs> yes. Four floors of a city block filled with books. Does anybody ever actually read? Today, I'm pretty much sure your credit card maxes out. Um, I'm going to cut it short because I want to make sure to leave time for any questions that we might have. Um, we have wonderful things, the food cart culture that everybody's probably seen on the food network. The Washington Zoo is also on the light rail, you don't need that to take us. Uh, Saturday Market is a wonderful thing, and something I want to highlight is that we end on 4th of July. That means if you stay over one extra night, you've got public, access, public transit access to the downtown fireworks, which are stunning. Um, again, the hotel is the Delta Street Portland. It, Oricon has been there for several years. It is, it's the best convention hotel in the city, as far as I'm concerned, for our style of convention. And again, it's right on the light rail, it's on the green line. You can come in from the port, the airport or from the train station, straight from either one of them, one line, and 100 yards from the front door of the hotel. It's $2.50. Um, I'm going to this. Oh, one more thing, if you're giving, if you're giving a party, there is a major grocery store within about two blocks, so that helps. Mm -hmm. um, our, we're really excited about our guest of honor, our author guest of honor is John Scalzi. Our artist guest of honor is the lovely Teresa Mather. She is right back there, so hello oh, Teresa. Yeah. We're very excited about that. Obak Kardowski is otherwise known as Mohawk Guy, is going to be our science guest of honor, and we are tickled at our record on that. Oh, Mohawk Guy. Yes, oh, from the Mars Overland. <laughs> our fan guest of honor is the inestimable David Levine over here. And our special guest of honor is Charlie Strauss. So, you'll be coming out. And um, that concludes my part of talking. So, Helen, my head of programming, <coughs> talk about over time. Hi, this is Okay. Um, so, like this convention, we are overlaying a local convention that's during the same time period, and that is GearCon. It is Portland's premier steampunk punk convention. They are every 4th of July. They agreed to share space with us, and so as part of our program, we are going to keep several of their normal items, and that includes the Victorian Symposium, where a martial art club that specializes in Victorian martial arts, pugilant, sword, um, I can't pronounce some of the other ones, they do all-day symposiums, um, teaching you the different forms of Victorian martial arts. They also have a cabaret, which will be part of the art show. They are very, very artistic. We're going to have a full masquerade, and Don Glover from Seattle will come down and run it. It will be a formal masquerade. There will be lots of costumes. There will be professional photography after the masquerade, and that will also be for people who are just in costume. Um, we'll have a full track of the steam pump, and they have steam pump barking. I don't know exactly what that is, but they run that higher length of the convention. We will have Falcon. There is a steampunk concert and vaudeville show. 
Um, we are going to have regular items that we have at Oricon. We have a very large maker community in Portland. That is the designing and making of items, probably because of the anime groups. They will be running workshops the entire convention. We will also have a set child's programming that will have its own dedicated room and track. Um, we will have lots and lots of local authors, and we will be running a very aggressive writer's workshop. We plan to coordinate that with local colleges, because Portland is a big city, and we have some really nice colleges. Um, I'm from Yuri Madagas, so I think that's all I have, if this is some questions. Uh, first, first question, moderator. Uh, room rates? Room rates are $124 for a single queen and for king and double queen, it is $139. Okay. Just now. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, she was first there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so, the famous queen, what do you need to do about? Uh, question about the question. Yeah, the question about reaching out to diverse audiences. Um, yes, we're I working. I was already with... asked to make sure that I balance <coughs> out. I was already asked to balance out who we're going to invite for our guest list, and we're working on our first wave now. Um, right. And there is a larger community, I think, of, of people of different ethnic and gender groups in Portland. So you'll have a little bit of time to chat. We've also offered 10 scholarships to Con or Bust for exactly that reason. Part of my model. Yes. Anyway, just well, have. It's just uh, defined summer, August? It is. For the, for the hotel reservations. Uh, I've actually asked my hotel liaison to get that as soon as possible. I'd like to have that up on the website this time. We will announce it on Facebook and Twitter. Yes, sir. Can you repeat your rates, please? I, I was confused. 124 for a standard room, 139 for what they call the box. And the difference is? Single queen is the standard rate, and king and double queen is the deluxe. Wow. For two years out, for what it costs in Portland, those are actually pretty good rates. It's sad, but yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyone else? Two minutes early. Cool. Yes, ma'am. Can you describe some ways in which you are different from, uh, from this current Western founder or the standard Western founder? Let me take that. Please do. Please repeat the question. <laughs> she wants to know how um, our site would be different from this site. For one thing, we are in the downtown area on the east side. It is easily reachable from the airport by the tram. Um, and you won't need a car. You can get anywhere in Portland from that location, whether it's the brewery, if you want to go on the brewery tour, we will be having beer latches as well as coffee latches. Um, you can get to any of the major tourist attractions from where we're at on public transit easily. It is not going to be inconvenient. Um, you won't be stuck basically in a hotel. You will be able to get around even if you don't have a car. That is what we need to do. Um, DeerCon is a pretty good sized con. There would be a lot of people, so I don't know, it's, it's a party atmosphere. It's a lot of fun. Every Western con tends to pick up the local flavor. So, for what that's worth. Uh, we've got one more minute, I think. Uh, I've got like 15 seconds. So. Thank you very much for coming. We're really looking forward to next year. Thank you.